to Muhammad's Boom Boom Room, where all of my guests either agree with me completely or they go boom. I am your host, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon me. And with me now is one of Allah's greatest messengers. He led the children of Israel out of Egypt and he wrote about me in the Torah. He is Prophet Moses. Moses, so happy to have you. Did you say I wrote about you in the Torah? Prophet Moses, has anyone ever told you that you kind of look like Socrates? Yes, I do get that sometimes, but as you can see, I'm wearing some sort of ancient Jewish head garment, thus indicating that I am not Socrates, but Moses. It's hard to argue with that airtight logic. Now what were you asking? I asked what you meant when you said that I wrote about you in the Torah. That's an easy one. Don't you remember when you wrote about my huge mole in the Torah? Holy moly. Yes, it's my holy moly. No, you, you didn't let me finish. I was going to say, holy moly, how can anyone believe in a man whose main line of evidence is an enormous mole? But it's in the Torah. No, it isn't. So you're saying that the Jews have corrupted the Torah and removed all the prophecies about my gigantic mole? Not what I was saying at all, but your book claims that there are still prophecies about you in the Torah. So, let's hear them. Hello, Zucker Nike. It's me again. Feed me up on you. Prophet Moses wants to know where I mention in the Torah. But as everyone knows, I can't read, so I have no idea. In the Bible, be up on you. Mm-hmm. Book of Deuteronomy. Mm-hmm. Chapter 19, verse number 18. Mm -hmm. You are the prophet like Luther. Thank you for rescuing me yet again, Dr. Nike. Be up on you. The angel Gabriel has revealed the answer to me. You wrote about me? In Deuteroscopy 18. The book of Deuteroscopy? That's correct. In Deuteroscopy 18, Allah says that he's going to send a prophet like you. And you're like me? Peace be upon me. So you can read then? Not a word. I can read though. So how are you like me? Well, we're both prophets. One of us is. Plus, we're both military generals. But only one of us has had sex with a nine-year-old girl, and it definitely wasn't me. But we're both military generals, so I'm clearly the prophet like you. Wow, generals. I guess that would make Alexander the Great a prophet. Alhamdulillah. Finally, I have confirmation of Surah 18 of the Quran. I have confirmation that you don't understand sarcasm. So you would agree that I'm the prophet like you, right? The prophecy said that God would raise up a prophet like me from among the Jews. God said, from among your brothers, which, in context, refers to their fellow Jews. No one would have interpreted this to mean from among the Arabs, and they certainly wouldn't have interpreted this to refer to an Arab prophet who despises Jews and calls for their destruction. Well, I do hate Jews. <laughs> Apart from that, the book defines what it means by the phrase, prophet like you. In chapter 34, it specifically says that the phrase prophet like you refers to my miracles and to my speaking to God face to face. What miracles did you perform? Well, according to the Quran, my only miracle is the Quran. The Quran. You mean the book that sounds like Someone tossed an Arabic dictionary into a blender and then sang whatever nonsense came out of it? No one can write anything like it. Hopefully, no one would ever want to. 
By the way, I parted the Red Sea, which makes your Arabic poetry look like someone threw up a bowl of alphabet soup and claimed it's a miracle. Now, for the other criterion, do you know God face to face? I know Gabriel face to face, especially when he's choking me and ordering me to read. But everyone knows I can't read. Then you're definitely not like me. Well, who was then? Jesus. This is impossible. Dr. Zucker Knight is never wrong. Let's take one more look. Zucker Knight quotes chapter 18, verse 18 of the book of Deuteronomy. Just two verses later, in verse 20, God gives two criteria of a false prophet. He says that if anyone delivers a revelation and claims that it's from God when it isn't from God, or if anyone speaks in the names of other gods, that prophet has to die. Tell me, have you ever done either of these? Actually, I did both when I delivered what are now called the satanic verses to my followers. I revealed as part of the Quran that it's okay to pray to the pagan goddesses Allah, Alusa, and Manat because they can carry our prayers to Allah like birds flying to heaven. But I took it back later and blamed the devil for tricking me. So God said in a passage that you wanted me to go to that if a prophet delivers a revelation that doesn't really come from God or if he speaks in the names of other gods, he has to die. And you just admitted that you did both. Well, it does sound kind of bad when he says it like that. What's that stone for? Do you want me to kiss it? I love kissing stones. Come here. Come here, you beautiful stone. Mmm. on my beard. <laughs> Have you been working out? <laughs> oh! What was that for? Wow, I, I, I kind of feel bad for you, but uh, I kind of don't. I mean, you literally sent me to a passage that orders me to execute you. So, kiss this. Ah, stop stoning me! I would, but you and Zucker Knight really wanted me to go here. I know, but I take it back, man! The only thing you're taking is another rock to the face! Before you do that, I need to show you something. Is it a rock? Oh, it's it's not a rock. What is it? <laughs> ah! It is I, Socrates. <laughs> Why did you pretend to be Moses? So I could bust you in your stupid face with a rock. But a brick works fine too. <laughs> Don't throw that. Okay, I won't. Thank you. Psych. <laughs> oh, why do you keep tricking me, Socrates? 
A man who can't tell the difference between an angel and a demon obviously can't tell the difference between Moses and Socrates. Oh, look! Another brick! <laughs> oh, a lot of loser in my not. Please, carry my prayers to the great God Allah and tell him that when he prays for me, that he should pray that Socrates will stop hitting me. Too slow! <laughs> Fly faster, pagan bird goddesses! Fly faster! It's a miracle! Another brick! <laughs> Wait! This is the detonator! If you throw that again, you'll blow us both up! Totally worth it! Come here, you beautiful stone! Mmm! 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 My mustache, hold on, have one. Come here, you beautiful stone. Oh, it's so ticklish on my beard. <laughs> have you been working out? <laughs> stone, your body is rock hard. Come here. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you good? All right, we gotta do the rock thing now. Alhamdulillah! <laughs>